Yeah, don't mind my hair. It's just, I just had this like this because. Just because. Alright. Now, a lot of people been hitting me up on Twitter and Facebook. You know, wanting to do what I did. Probably not for the same reasons. And I'm talking about the road trip. Like, people be like, yo... That that was that's what's up, you know. You you went to go see con the country and all this shit, and some people be like, oh, that's a one in a lifetime or uh, uh, thing, and like people be like, oh, I wish I had money like you to go do that. I right, number one, let's say, I'm gonna tell you how I did it, so y'all can know. Number one, it's the first time I did the road trip. It was a road trip. I didn't do anything music wise, which was. It was my, my main reason, but then I ended up not doing anything for music. Next time, I, I'm going on, on the tour. But, I the road trip. Obviously, the car, you got to have a car, first of all, <laughs> to do it. Number two, um, what do you need when you're on the road? Food, somewhere to shower, and somewhere to sleep. Somewhere to sleep, you go automatically subtract that you had a car now let me tell you something now every night I didn't sleep in my car probably like I was out for like for 45 days hmm I would say probably like 10 times I slept in my car because I didn't want to exactly you know go everywhere where I knew someone like I wanted to see places like why about if I wanted to see the damn Grand Canyon I don't know nobody around there or if I wanted to see something in freaking LA that you know probably like an hour away from where I knew somebody you know some shit like that but for the most part I had places to stay cause you know that comes from uh, my MySpace days my, my music and all that I gained fans all over the place and whatnot. but the days I had had to sleep in the car which is, you know, it was my choice. I could have not did that and just found somewhere, just drive to the person. But, you know, some nights I didn't feel like it. You know, I'm like real loner, I guess. So what I would do, I just stuck my tongue out for no reason. What I would do, I would drive, right? I, I go to a hotel. Smartest thing I ever did. This is the first night I did it, too. I drove to a hotel. And I was like, damn, there's mad cars here. I think it was the... The Ritz, not the Ritz. I have no idea what it was, but I went there, parked in, in, in the in the parking lot, and I just pulled back, went to sleep. Woke up in the morning, and I was like, "Damn, I needed to get cleaned up." I had I have baby wipes. That's how I took showers. The times that I did sleep in my car, cause I didn't have a spot to go uh, shower at, so. What I would do is I'd grab my bag. I had a book bag. I, I had my toothbrush, shaving shit, socks, drawers, whatever I had. Then I had a bigger luggage with all my clothes in it, but the book bag is what I would use to stay mobile. So I would do is take my bag, my book bag, walk into the hotel, go to the bathroom, clean myself with baby wipes, wash my hair in freaking um, the sink, with, and dry myself with a towel. Well, not wash my hair. I would just wash my hair actually with soap and everything. Then, since it was a nice hotel, it wasn't no cheap ass motel where people would just go to fuck. It was a nice ass hotel. They would have breakfast in the morning. So what I would do, I just walk to the breakfast room and eat there for free. I have a book bag on my back. I don't look like I'm from around the area where I'm at. If you ever been to a hotel, you know if you go to the breakfast room, they don't. They, there's no ID check or anything. You just go in there and eat. Then you leave. That's what I did every time. So sometimes when I didn't even stay at a hotel and I wanted like some good breakfast, I would just go to a hotel, drive there, and go. It's probably fucking up my shit. I hope somebody doesn't see this and notice what I'm doing. But then, that was most of it. So that took care of breakfast. That took care of um, what sleeping somewhere. Because sleeping in a hotel parking lot is the best thing ever. Because people's coming in and out of there and they don't know whose car is what. Then um, what I would do, let's say... That, that was sick. I saved a whole bunch of money, didn't it? Just off of that. Then what I would do for, um, say if I were to eat, I mostly ate like fast food shit, like cheap ass shit. What I would do sometimes, is I was, I did this a couple of times. I pull up to the drive through. When the guy uh, would, would hand me like my food, I would purposely make him drop it. I would be like, <laughs> acting like I'm going to get it. 
you know, after the second pass, they'll, like, think I have it and drop it. So when they would drop on the floor, they'll be like, oh, sir, I'll get you another one. I'll be like, all right. So I'll do, you know, the food's still in the bag. I don't give a fuck. I'll pick up the food, put it in, and they'll give me another one of what I just ordered. And boom, I get two sandwiches or two drink, not drinks, but two sandwiches, two fries, two nuggets, whatever I just ordered, doubled for the price of one. For real. And this is stuff that I didn't have to do. Like, I had money. I didn't go out there broke. But it was always good to save, you know? And if I found shortcuts to how to save it, it was even freaking better. Why wouldn't I? What else did I do? Hmm. I took care of that. I took care of that. Gasoline. A lot of places. Nebraska, Iowa, uh, parts of uh, Illinois, southern parts of Canada, like real southern, like southern past L.A. and all that. There's really remote towns and whatnot. Kansas. Basically, every state you could you could think of, like even Texas, parts of Texas, that would have gasoline stations where you would actually pump first and then pay later. No idea why they did this, but they do do this. So what I would do, <laughs> I would pull up, pump, and just pull off. I did that shit like 15 times and shit. Like, even when I was driving through Pennsylvania, Ohio, every state has... These like little, not deserted towns, but towns that are like kind of out in, out on the road. But I didn't really notice that you pump and then pay till I hit like Nebraska and Iowa and shit like that. And Illinois, my bad. Illinois, because I was coming from the east. That's when I noticed that they did that, which I never seen that shit before in my life until. So I saved on gas like pff, a whole bunch. Like I would wait until my shit's on E and. <laughs> like fill the fuck up and just balance. What else I would do? Let's see. Like I right, besides eating, why been if I was thirsty? Yeah, wanted to snag or some shit. I'll pull into the store and rob shit. Basically, like Walmart. Wait, Walmart. Yo, I can't even count how many times I robbed that motherfucker. Like yo, I would walk in and walk out with at least like. $30 worth of shit. But Walmart, I usually rob like CDs and shit just for my entertainment. Like a, like a DVD player or something. Like Then at the stores where I would rob drinks and shit. And mind you, I did have money. I did. I could have bought the stuff. But then, you know, I, I didn't want to get to that point where I'm like, shh, counting my money and shit. I, would like, I like to be at the point where I'm like, oh, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So, what else did I do? That was it. You know? You, you, you exit out food. You exit out where to sleep. You exit out gas, obviously. And what do you really have to do? Like, what, what really do you have to spend money on after that? Washing clothes. Another thing. Well, every time I, I had a, I met a girl and they would wash my clothes for me. So, I mean, if you don't got nobody out there, then there's a problem. Of course, I didn't do this by myself. But I'm just, I'm just letting y'all know for y'all people who... Who want to go on a road trip like I did and planning it one day. I just wanted to make this video for y'all. To show y'all the shortcuts that I use to save a whole bunch of money. Like, and I, I didn't think of this until I hit the road. Until I saw how things were. And I'm like, oh shit, I could do this, I could do that. And pocket a whole bunch of money and stay comfortable. Comfortable. I was comfortable out there. Only reason I had to stop it for a second because I have court. But 